Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. This is Mark. Check her out. So hi guys, how are you doing? Today is Monday the 29th of January 2018 and I am just about to leave my house to go and watch Hamilton the musical, finally. I originally had to get to Hamilton doing its previews back in November but as you may be aware the first like two or three weeks of Hamilton got cancelled the previews because the theatre wasn't ready yet, the Victoria Palace Theatre, so because of that mine was like postponed to January which is fine because now I get to see an actual performance rather than a preview which is exciting and it's the same price and apparently we're signing the stores as well, row M which is also exciting because my original ticket were for the back of the stalls and now I've been like a bit like improved, our tickets have been improved basically, promoted to OM rather than like row W or whatever it was um, for the previews. I'm very excited. Hamilton obviously, it's got loads of hype. Uh, I've known about the show since like two and a half years ago whenever it came out on Broadway and I've been trying to like avoid it for the past two years because that's just the kind of person I am. I don't like listening to soundtracks of musicals until I see them myself but <laughs> even though I managed the past couple of years, literally about two or three weeks ago, I decided to listen to it because some of my friends were like, oh Sam, it's probably best if you do listen to them because, you know, it's just better to know a little bit about the story and because it's like rap and it's a song through musical, you might enjoy it more. So I did and now I'm absolutely obsessed. I feel like I've just wasted my last two years of life without listening to it and I wish I'd listened to it earlier. But I'm so excited. I'm off to meet my friend Sam right now. We're going to go for food before the show and Lord have mercy, come along on the journey. I'm at Ed's Diner now and I'm joined by Sam and some mozzarella sticks. It sounds... <laughs> It's Sam's first time properly at Ed's Diner. It's my first time ever in, yeah, at Ed's Diner. Are you, are you enjoying these? It's really good. They're really good, really aren't they? I'm very excited for food right now. I'm also incredibly excited for Hamilton, like, whew, what's the time? Like, six o'clock nearly? Okay, so we've got about an hour and a half to go. I'm going to enjoy these and we'll wait for the rest of the food to arrive for the next part of the vlog. Oh food God. has arrived now. Um, so I've gone for a very plain burger with cheese and um, what are these called? Onion there you go. I mean, I knew. I just I didn't think. She only is the burger. Exactly. I'm so bad. And Sam, you went for a mass. What was your normal burger? It's just a cheeseburger. Well done. With everything. Well done. You. <laughs> Mine is with nothing. <laughs> and we've still got the, the the mozzarella sticks as well. And life is beautiful at the moment. Is it not? Food has been consumed and it has ended. We are now on our way to the Victoria Palace Theatre, a theatre that you've never been to before either. No. Very excited, Sam. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited. I'm so excited as well. We're going to be in the room where it happens. <laughs> I'm actually, I really, I'm excited to make this. Yeah, I know. Um, the theatre also, sorry. Um, I've not been in this theatre since Billy Elliot was in there like, what, a year and a half ago, two years ago. And as you guys know, I was a massive Billy Elliot fan, still am. <laughs> I've been in that theatre too many times to count. So I'm looking forward to seeing it now that it's been refurbished, although it's still not completely done apparently. Work, I know, I know. Anything. That's why some of the previews got cancelled. Um, also, we need to collect our tickets. They're whatever they're called, paperless tickets or whatever they are. Which, we can go. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, oh my god, they're beautiful. Okay. We're gonna. Also, this is called Little Ben. Did you know that? No. <laughs> And his big, big Ben's little brother or sister. Um, no, brother, because little Ben. Um, so we'll see when we go inside. We are now in a rather long queue to go and get our ticket. It's not even seven o'clock yet, though, so life is great. <laughs> I don't know why you're lolling. <laughs> I've been quite stressed trying to get here in time, but it's fine, is it not? It's fine. There's a massive queue. But tomorrow I thought we could just buy that. <laughs> I did, I was like, oh, I'm sure there's another entrance, and then so I was like, I'm pretty sure this is our queue. Um, so now... This was the returns queue. I, I did, well, I, d I just hoped it would, I think it's what I wanted from life, and I didn't get it, unfortunately. Now we're in this gigantic queue. But it's moving quickly, and um, it's fine. We've got our tickets now, guys, and we're in row M of stores. How exciting, they're just a piece of paper. It's the beautiful chandelier, is what we call them. It's, so, it's changed so much, guys, since the Billy Elliot days. It's beautiful. Are we going to go up for a bit, maybe, potentially? So, guys, it's a whole downstairs area now for the merchandise, which used to be upstairs in the main foyer level back in the Billy Elliot days, which is really exciting. And apparently, the fee for the merch has been ridiculous in the past month or so. This show only opened in London <laughs> about a month ago. Um, but at the moment, it's fine. It's beautiful. People said that in the original in the first few weeks, like, you've had to queue up an hour just to, just to get some merchandise, which is ridiculous. Just in case you're wondering what you can buy when you come to Hamilton, these are the options of things. There's loads of things. Is there stuff, stuff in the back as well? Yes, there is. May you just hold this? Thank you very much <laughs> for being my assistant today. Um, yeah, this is the rest of it. Loads of outfits and stuff, but I'm, we're probably just going to go for the programs. Are we yeah, now? I'm not yeah. going to get an outfit. <laughs> 
<laughs> as much as you, you never know. know at the end of it you might come out saying I really want an outfit I really want to Hamilton myself up but yeah that's what you can buy so this is our cast for tonight guys this is coming to by Richard Beadle um, I think we've got the alternate Alexander Hamilton on so I'm just gonna wait for him his name to show up hopefully in the next few seconds now now oh there you go so Ash Hunter Rachel and go this is the full cast that we have and yeah, I'm very, 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 like, I can't even explain to you how excited I am. We've got our programs now, I'm very excited. So I'm going to look at these shows. We've got Ash Hunter on today, that guy here. Yeah. And, um, as our Hamilton. We are now basically going to our seats, more or less. The school area. Uh, and it's like 10 past 7, so we're doing very well for time. I'm actually genuinely quite proud of myself. I don't normally come to any theatre so early, but the email for Hamilton was like, you need to come an hour early. And I got, like, quite nervous about that whole situation. Oh my god, there's like... Um, do you actually have a door for? Okay. <laughs> um, I've just been to the toilets at the Victoria Palace Theatre and I used to really love them back in Billy Elliot days and Lord have mercy, they've improved. I even had a sink in mine. Sam didn't. I didn't. <laughs> no. Sink, no mirror. No, so I had a mirror and everything. I just beautified myself in the toilet. I was like, life is great and I come here and Sam's just sitting here. Although, this area is quite nice as well. <laughs> what? <laughs> What could they do to make this area more exciting for you? Nothing. There you go, you're loving it. You match it, something you really don't. But no, I don't. <laughs> all black. You look like you belong here. Yeah, I feel like I was born here. <laughs> Place of birth? Like Victoria Palace Theatre. Um, oh Lord have mercy. Okay, so we've still got like 15 minutes before we go to our show. So, our show, you know, the show that we're a part of apparently. Um, 10 minutes, is that it? Mm. Time is moving quickly. Yeah, we're getting there. So, also Sam en enjoys her Apple Watch. <laughs> I enjoy I enjoy seeing her use it as well. It's just one of my favourite things in life. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll see you when we go to our seats eventually. Hopefully in the next few minutes before we take some photos. We have now entered the auditorium. Lord have mercy, that's the set. We're in row M, 44 and 43. So, hmm. This is it. I think that's us, Sam. Yeah. Yeah. Great. You going? Oh my god, oh my god, how close. We're in our seats now, guys. Sam is appreciating the theatre. Yeah. The yeah, the seats have now changed to green, which is nice. Even though green is not a creative colour, but that's a different story. Green, green is not a creative colour. Um, it used to be red. It is a beautiful field and we have a really nice view as well. I'm looking forward to this a lot. The show's about to start in about five minutes, so I'll speak to you in the interval. It is the interval. <laughs> Are you enjoying it so far? Yeah, well, it is so good. It is worth the hype. It's phenomenal. Uh, I'm so glad as well that I listen to music because like, every song that comes up, I'm like, yes. Yeah, I love it. Oh, the, the Theodosia. Lord have mercy. King George. Is, everyone's loving King George. He is funny, but people are really enjoying him. Um, the whole cast is great. Obviously, I'm going to talk about it more when I get home at the end of the performance, but this is the theatre. Life is grand. A uh, set of word I don't normally use, but yeah, I'm I'm just I, I almost feel like I, it's, it's a dream. I just don't believe that I'm actually watching it. I feel like I've waited for this for so long. There's like it's actually here. I'm actually genuinely watching that. <laughs> the interval is still occurring. We are now walking back to our seats after a little photo shoot, which Sam really enjoyed. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? <laughs> it was it like really? We have some great photographers actually. All jokes aside, the people here are great. Um, yeah, Act Two should happen soon. I am still a bit overwhelmed by this whole situation. I'm not going to the person with the avenue T-top over there, well done. Um, so yeah, the view is pretty decent as well. We do have a couple of tall people in front of us, which makes life a bit difficult, but where were we? Yeah. LM, how we've come a bit too forward. Um, but yeah, Act Two. We're waiting for Act Two now. There's Sam with her amazing water bottle. It has her name on it, Love Island. Shout out to Love Island. Um, that's the theatre, I mean that's the stage. Obviously we're in the theatre right now. I'll talk to you after the second half. The show has just finished guys and oh my lord have mercy, how good was it? It was so good, so so good. <laughs> we have now left the theatre, as you can see, the Fire yeah. Theatre. Um, any, any thoughts? Any highlights? We were I know so we're very good. cold. It was so so good. Everyone was amazing. The cast was Satisfied fantastic. Satisfied was good. The jewel scene at the end was amazing. It was phenomenal. Like you could hear a pin drop in the theatre. Yeah. So good. 
exactly. I mean, I'm going to talk about my thoughts at the end when I get home, when I think about it more. But overall, fantastic. Yeah. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Good. And it's goodbye to Sam for now. This Bye. Sam anyway. This yeah. Sam will continue the journey when she gets home. <laughs> See ya. I am now back home, as you can probably tell by the background and the mess that is my room at the moment. But it's time to talk a bit more about... Hamilton. I honestly genuinely cannot still believe that I've actually seen her now. I feel like it's been a long time coming. Obviously, like, what, two and a half years ago, whenever it first started on Broadway, I've been aware of it since then. I've heard amazing things about it. I've been wanting to see it. I've been trying to avoid it because I thought I want to wait until it comes to London. And it came in literally two weeks before I was about to see it. I was like, I can't wait anymore. And I listened to it. And I'm really glad I did, actually. That's one of the first things I'm going to say. I'm glad I'd heard the songs before I saw it because it's a song through show. And literally every song is like, you know, when, when I was watching, every song was like amazing. And I was excited to hear them live and see them live and see them in action so I would recommend if you're going to Hamilton I mean I feel like most people have already listened to Hamilton I was one of the minority people who hadn't listened to it yet until two weeks ago but if you are one of you know if you're like me and don't like normally listening to shows or songs of shows before you see a musical make an exception for Hamilton it's definitely worth at least having listened to the soundtrack once I would say Whew what a show what a show i feel like even though it's like today's 29th of january we're still in january it's the first month of the year but i feel like hamilton's definitely going to be my favorite new show of 2018 by the end of the year i mean wow it was actually the first new show that i've seen this year anyway but it set the bar high is what i'm gonna say it is it's worth the hype. Everyone who's seen it, you know, before me has been telling me that, yes, it's worth the hype. Like, I know it's got a lot of hype, blah, 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 but it deserves it. And I agree with them. It is a phenomenal show. Everything about it. Like, obviously, I love the songs anyway because I've listened to them before. But seeing it live, the choreography is phenomenal. The acting, what an amazing cast. I'm going to go through them in a second with my program. <laughs> but the acting is fantastic. And the choreography and just the sets and the music, like the orchestra. <sighs> I need to calm down. I feel like I need another few minutes before I can continue this review. Right, I have now positioned you in a pretty vulnerable place, so you might fall any minute, but I've dropped you quite a few times already today. I drop you all the time, so I'm really bad with you guys. I'm talking about the camera, obviously. Um, but hopefully you should be okay. I just felt like I needed my both, both of my hands to go through the programme and talk about the cast. So obviously we had the alternate uh, Hamilton on today, um, who was fantastic, by the way. Like, people tweeted me earlier when I said I was going today, and everyone was like, oh, you're going to get the, the alternate? And I was like, cool. And everyone said that they, you know, he's amazing. So I had very high expectations anyway, and he was genuinely amazing. So Ash Hunter is his name. It's this guy over here. He was honestly phenomenal. Great voice, great acting. You saw his growth throughout the journey of the show, like throughout the from the beginning into the end of the show, obviously. Honestly, couldn't have fault him at all. He was just fantastic. I mean, basically, just so you're, so you're prepared for the rest of this video, I'm just going to be saying amazing and phenomenal and, like, incredible uh, things about everyone. So, um, yeah. Uh, Aaron Burr was played by, I hope I'm pronouncing his name right, Giles Terrera. Um, it's this guy here. Again, fantastic. Also, sorry, I've just got a Snapchat. But um, fantastic performer. Like, his voice was beautiful. Uh, his acting was great. He was so likeable. Um, Aaron Burr's character, just from listening to the soundtrack, has always been one of my favourites, just because I love the songs that he sings, I love the, the voice of the guy uh, from Broadway, who is called the thing Leslie something, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but, um, so I was a bit worried about, you know, just seeing a different person interpret it, but wow, he was fantastic, again, obviously no complaint about him. Uh, Michael Gibson, this guy here, played King George, and I've, I've, I love the King George songs anyway, they're so funny when you listen to them, but Lord have mercy, when you watch this guy on stage, he is phenomenal, like... He genuinely had me laughing in the whole audience. Everyone was loving life and so well done to him. Like, people clapped for him even before he started singing just because I guess people knew that he was a funny character. So I think that can be a bit intimidating for the guy who was playing him knowing that obviously there's high expectations for him but it didn't bother him. He was he was genuinely really funny. I enjoyed him um, a lot. He was like, it takes me, it takes a lot for me to laugh actually, uh, which is a bit of a weird thing because I laugh easily in real life but when it comes to shows, it's not easy for shows to genuinely make me laugh but Michael Gibson as King George made me lol a lot. I've just got a Snapchat from Rukaya because I sent her one earlier about how much like I loved Hamilton. I'm guessing she's just replied back about that situation. Um, shout out to you, Rukaya. Um, Rachel Anger plays Eliza Hamilton and I'd seen her way too many times when she was in Miss Saigon. If you didn't know, guys, I used to work at the Prince Theatre where Miss Saigon was playing a few years ago and obviously that meant I got to see the show a lot. Um, like way too many times so I still used to see her a lot and I knew she was fantastic um, and since Miss Sagon she's done quite a lot of other things like she's done um, 
Les Mis, I think. She was recently in Les Mis. And now this. And again, beautiful role. It's actually really good to see her in something that's a bit... Uh, a role that's a bit, a bit bigger than her role in Miss Saigon. Uh, she got to show her acting a bit more and she was... Wow, emotional. Like, she she touched me <laughs> towards the end. And a beautiful voice as well. Then we've got Christine Alado, um, who played Peggy, Skylar, one of the other sisters. Fantastic voice as well. And then Rachel John. She was beautiful. She plays Angelica Skylar and her voice, phenomenal. Her acting, phenomenal. She was just amazing. I've seen Rachel John in quite a few things before. I think I've seen her in Memphis and The Bodyguard, I believe. Definitely in Memphis. Uh, she used to be in Sister Act as well, so I must have seen her in that quite a few years ago. But she was, she was amazing. Like, incredible. Okay, let's continue the situation. So, um, Hercules Mulligan slash James Madison was played by Taryn Callender, who is this guy here. Again, fantastic actor, really enjoyed his performance. Then we've got Philip Hamilton or John Lawrence. Oh my god, I hope it was him that was on today. Did we have another study? I don't think we did. I think it was him. I've just had to consult uh, Western Covers, the Twitter account on Twitter, to double check because I'm pretty sure that it wasn't the standard um, Philip Hamilton slash John Lawrence that we had on today. And I'm correct. Tonight, apparently, was the debut of Jack Butterworth um, in the world of John Lawrence slash Philip Hamilton. And Philip Hamilton is. Hamilton's son, if you didn't know. So basically, he's the one who normally plays it, but we didn't have him. Instead, we had this guy here um, as Philip Hamilton, and he was fantastic. I can't believe it was his debut. That's amazing. I feel like I'm part of history. Oh, Lord have mercy. I am part of Hamilton's Western's history. Like, wow. Yeah, he was great. He was really, really good. And I actually thought he had a really good uh, bond, both with his mum and his dad, both with Rachel Ango. Obviously not genuine, like actual Rachel Ango, but Eliza Hamilton and Alexander Hamilton tonight, Ash Hunter. George Washington was played by uh, Obioma Ugoala. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. And he was, again, phenomenal. Then the last person I want to talk about is... Oh, he was he was one of the highlights for me. Jason Pennycook played the role of Lafayette slash Thomas Jefferson. And he was just a joy to watch like he was funny he had an amazing voice he was brilliant anytime he was on stage i couldn't keep my eyes off him he was just fantastic so well done to him and that's him if you're wondering what he looks like okay i don't really know what else to talk about without continuously repeating myself this show is fantastic is all i can say who lives who dies who tells a story is on the back of the program ah, so good i honestly oh I didn't want to love it as much as I did, guys, because when shows are so hyped up, I don't know, I just feel a bit like, oh, are they going to be as good? But normally there's a reason for them being so hyped up and so popular. And with Hamilton, I can see exactly why. The music is great, just the story, just the concept from the beginning. I mean, if you didn't know, Alexander Hamilton was one of the founding fathers of America, and um, he was, in real life, a white man. But obviously in the story, they're played by people of colour, which that itself is phenomenal. But also just the music style as well of the whole cast recording, the soundtrack, the score is brilliant. I mean, Lin-Manuel Miranda, phenomenal guy, well done. I I just, I admire the guy. He's <laughs> He's amazing. I'm going to slowly but surely finish this vlog because i just i'm just word vomiting at you i feel like at the moment uh, the tickets were actually really good by the way row emma stalls 44 and 43 i think is where we were um it was a little bit annoying because it you know it's in the middle of the stalls and we had two one slightly not even tall person we had someone in front of us me and sam who has a slightly slightly big head so it was a bit difficult to see that's why we swapped um in an interval so we could both have an equal amount of viewing <laughs> life i guess but um i don't know i feel like especially because they've just renovated it it would have been nice oh god i've just anthony has just snapped let me shout out to my friend anthony as well um yeah i don't know that's just a minor thing it was a good view though i'm, I'm very happy also please don't fall i'm very happy with the view i'm very happy that we got i guess in a way upgraded without even wanting to from the back of the stores i think my original seats were somewhere like in row u or something to row m that's really good and the whole theater in itself victoria palace theater is just beautiful i'm really glad that they've decided to renovate it obviously i'm sad that <laughs> Billy Elliot had to close a couple of years ago. If you want to watch my vlog of the last ever show of Billy Elliot, go ahead and watch it. I was very sad that day. I was very emotional. Like, oh. It was weird to go back, but honestly, it almost feels like a different theatre because they've changed so many things about it. The seats are different. They're green. They used to be red. The whole place is different. The toilets are different. Very good toilets, by the way. I'm weird. I like rating toilets. So, um, yeah, if you're sitting in the stalls and you're a female, you use the female toilets, you're in for a treat. Um, 
Oh, such a good show. Right, I'm gonna stop talking about it. It's been a great evening. I'm still, like, I'm gonna be on a high for like rest of the week, I think. If you've seen Hamilton, leave comments down below and let me know what you think of it. I feel like I don't, I've never met anyone in my life or even talked to anyone who hasn't liked Hamilton. So I feel like everyone's gonna be saying great things about it. But if you for some reason don't like Hamilton, leave comments down below. I'd love to talk to you about it as well. Um, oh God, so many. <laughs> This is a Snapchat from my friend Sam now as well, who I saw the show with. I feel like my Snapchat's going crazy now because I've, like I said, I've just Snapchat so many people about the show. But um, yeah, I've had an amazing day. I cannot wait to hopefully go and see it again at one point. I feel like I'm definitely going to have to go back to it just because I loved it so much. Rukaya did warn me that I would definitely want to go back and I do. Um, obviously tickets are very hard to get, but I might just enter the lottery or find a way to do, to go again some at some point. At some point this year, that would be nice. Massive thanks to my friend Sam for making this whole journey tonight more fun it was great to see it with her she was very excited as well she's been loving the Hamilton soundtrack for a long time so it was just great to see it with somebody who enjoys Hamilton already or like knew the, the songs and stuff um it was a great evening and yeah I hope you've enjoyed this vlog leave comments down below about anything you want and I'll see you oh my god don't fall I'll see you next time bye